Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shady Puck. If you've seen my previous video, you'll recognize this is my Roman scrapbook project. Um, had to change this head because he updated his texture, so I just chose here, Brian, because why not? Um, but yeah, uh, so you guys crushed it on the last video. I must have gotten like three likes or something, so yeah, woohoo, go guys. Um, I said if I got a t grand total of one like or more, I'd publish a video. I'm explaining how I did all of the redstone wizardry behind this button. Um, so as you know, when I press this button, cool stuff happens. And today I'll be going through exactly how that works. So you may or may not have noticed before, there's this conspicuous trap door on the floor. And this leads down to all my redstone gizmo witched blah blah blah, whatever. So I previewed this before, I previewed my templates down here. Um, but yeah, so you start off with your run of the mill fill clock, fill redstone block, fill air, simple enough. And I have my intro. Now, for everything, I start off with this command executing at anyone with a score of zero. You can see I have a score of zero. Um, it'll detect at this place, which is where the button is or the stone button with a data value of 9, which means it's pressed. At that point, it'll add to me 1. Now this command is repeated at the start of everything. And then, um, obviously I could make this a little neater, I could remove this whole execute, but I don't know, I didn't feel like it. So then I could scoreboard players add 1 to 50, um, so that'll get it to from 1 to 51. Um, yeah, I had a little glitch there. Most of them are like 1 to 49 or something. Yeah, I see 52 to 99, so that'll stop at 100. Um, then, uh, as you can see what that does, scoreboard adds up. I say good morning class, then my class says good morning back. Um, for me, I just did execute say to get my red name, because... Um, Um, SRA. So that's just a little thing on my world, and I'm on Team SRA. Um, maybe I'll make a video about that. Probably not. Um, and then I just used um, regular tell raw. When it's at 50, tell raw to me. Text bracket white ATL master color aqua bracket good morning teacher color white. So you know that just does like that. And then, you know, I repeated that for all the names of all my armor stands. And yeah, that's the basic thing. I've got a test for, an add, and then command, or many commands in some cases. These signs, um, they label what goes on. So this is a fill clock. This, to the right of it, is the intro. This is the topic. This is family life. And we go back over here, and this is the next thing. Sacrificial pig and saffron. Healthcare, which is the topic. Intro, which is what's going on. And then walnuts. And then um, all the way up to the top, and this would be the very last thing to happen. Which sets me back to zero. Um, so, several different things. As you can see, I did tell raw text. Next one up is Topics. It'll just say today we'll discuss family life. Now assume I'm pressing the button every time I run this command. Next will happen is um, my bullet will get cloned up from underneath. I'll show you all my clone templates. And then when I look down, it's testing for a minimum rotation. I'll show you that command. So when I look down that low, it teleports me over there facing towards the button. And that's with the new uh, X rot Y rot thing, which you can um, do. Where is that? Uh, family life. So that fills it. That's just for the first time. That teleports me to that point. That. That's probably on the other side. 
Maybe I'll figure out this machine someday. Aha! So executing at a person with the score of that, when my um, vertical rotation uh, maximum is 90 and minimum is 89, so it's got to be a pretty steep angle. The scoreboard player set me. Blah, 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 repetition, whatever, I don't care, to 151, which will teleport me back and fill the bullet space with air. So if you'll notice down here, good time to preview my clone templates, they are all exactly the same size. Same dimensions, just different pictures. This is my little Roman history template. Black stain clay, Jason signs. I used um, Crush Pixels sign generator. Nice thing, shout out to him. So yeah, Bulla, Amputating, Aqueduct. If you want to see this in more detail, see my other video. Castrum, and Circus Maximus. But yeah, this tiny little thing um, displays all my facts. You know, with um, relatively newfound knowledge, I really call me a noob, Luke, if you want. Um, but mostly... Uh, yeah, this is the whole thing that runs it. Oh, a few other command blocks for the armor stands. Um, obviously, these are pretty darn custom armor stands. I don't know which one should I choose. That's what I keep in this chest. I've got, um, I frankly have no idea what those do. Um, got my armor setups, my paper. Then these are for the two Shady Puck avatars out front. These are my four seats in seating order. So I don't know, I'll just grab this one. It corresponds to a Tailmaster. Now what I'm doing is I'm summoning an armor stand at these coordinates, a little lower so that it actually looks like he's you know, sitting in the seat. I guess I could have done a little farther back too, but whatever, don't judge. And then custom name, ATL Master, could have figured that out. Visible true, so I can look at him, not don't have to look at him. No gravity, one, so he doesn't sink into the floor. Show arms, so I can see his pretty little arms holding the paper. No base plate, one, that look kind of awkward, very awkward. Rotation, so he's facing forward. Posing the different arms, so he looks sort of like he's sitting in a minecart. Um, I think you can also like pose the head and the chest, but whatever. And equipment, ID339 is paper, 301 display colors, that's boots, 300 is leggings, 299 is chest plate, and 397 is skull, damage 3, that makes it a player head, tag, skull owner, galvanite, he's, his, uh, he's one of my friends. Pop this back in the chest. I'm lagging a bit right now. Don't mind all this stuff. I will tell you about it later. That's going to be a fun video. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I don't know. Do I have anything special in my villa? I'll check it out. But yeah, that's basically the main redstone. Yeah, I've got that little chute, little pillar underneath. I guess that didn't really need to look realistic, but I just felt like making it look realistic someone broke in. But yeah, tables, armor, toga, below waist toga, sandals, lesson plan. This is, I don't think this book has anything in it, but um, hmm. uh, up here I may have some, yeah, these are all the furniture spawn eggs, stuff like that. Um, which don't really work anymore now that I deleted that. My sofa, bed, schoolhouse. So I don't know. I, I like the concept. Thought it was cool. Got me a good grade. Yuri. Um, 